Hey guys, what's up? It's Stepper Mito. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in FL Studio and we're going to be cooking up like some DaBaby type beat or, you know, something like that. Uh, so I'm just going to throw a pattern in the playlist, get started like that. I got this flute out of Flex Open. It sounds pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go with that and uh, yeah, let's get started. So I want to work, I usually work in like, for DaBaby type beat, I'm going to go with minor harmonic and uh, probably gonna do probably like F um, and we're gonna start with that so uh, I'm just gonna lay out like a simple melody on this flute we'll get some hard drums going bouncy kicks and it's gonna sound cool uh, so Press Control L to uh, stretch that all. So we're gonna do that. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, I want to get like, we don't want to add too many instruments. The baby type beats are really simple, uh, but we might try like a bell or honestly like a trumpet might be cool. Uh, so I'm going to go to flex again and uh, we're going to look for some trumpets in here. And if there's nothing we're going to find, we're going to go to expand. So let's see, I could do like French horns. Nah. Garbage. Uh, we could try synth brass. Would be cool. All right, I like that. That sounds good. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna turn the attack like that a little bit. Make it a little bit faster. Turn that down so I can actually hear the flute. It's like a really cheap sounding trumpet, but it's kind of cool. I think it fits the vibe. Uh, so we're going to go with that. And I want to keep this just not like super rhythmic at all uh, so that we can have super bouncy drums. All right, I'm actually not really liking this. Uh, actually, let's see. I'm just going to leave it for now. We're going to get some drums going and then we'll decide later. Um, so. I'm gonna start off with a, well, I'll start off with a two-step. Uh, we're gonna go with kind of a looser hi-hat. Yeah, like that. And um, by the way, go check out my video from the other day. It was my top three free uh, trap drum kits. And uh, most of the sounds that I'm gonna be using are from those drum kits. So, um, so I'm gonna, this legacy kit by Nate the Producer Beats is one of them. So go check out that video, it's super helpful. Uh, we're gonna start off with a two-step hi-hat pattern. And then I'm gonna get a kick. That's cool. And then I'm 
just going to put a simple clap in to, um, and we're definitely going to change the sound later, but just to get the rhythm. Come in here and double that over. I'm going to press Shift D to shorten that. short 808 I'm gonna go Let's see we're gonna try this Andromeda kit this kind of might be cool uh, so we gotta tune this real quick just right click on the right note and then that's cool um, I want to copy that kick pattern over sorry I'm mumbling I'm just kind of used to it um, make that cut itself and then I'm gonna come up here and grab these root notes Let's see, it just goes F, F, A sharp, F, E, F, A sharp, F, E. Okay, cool. Uh, that's all I need to know. So I'm going to just start by putting these all on the right notes, and then I'll mess around with the notes a little bit more. drums and I'm gonna hear this sh uh, shit sorry uh, my phone just vibrated and it vibrates like way harder than it should so you probably heard that but um this up an octave. I'm going to do a little 808 roll right here. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. Alright, I like that. Uh, Alright, cool, 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 cool. Um, Alright, I'm going to get an open app. drums now. Uh, actually, I just want to hear the melody on its own real quick. Let's try pitching this down an octave. Alright, yeah, that's cool. Um, some of the notes clash a little bit, but it's not too obvious, so I'm not going to deal with it too much right now. that uh, I'm gonna do 
that. Copy that over. Alright, uh, I want some crash symbols, and I think I know exactly what I want. Uh, these ones. Some concert crash symbols. That's cool. Um, I might add this in. really hard already uh, so we're gonna get this put into the mixer just press ctrl L and it selects everything and puts it in the mixer get, get some effects going try a little bit of reverb but not too much well, that sounds really hard out this clap it's not hitting but actually I think if we just uh, pitch it down a little bit any effects try some reverb on this and that sounds good so now I'm just gonna put this in mono and we're gonna start leveling everything everything down a little bit to give it some more headroom. This is cool, I can totally hear the baby on this. Uh, so we're just gonna start arranging it. Uh, I'm gonna bring everything in right there and uh, stretch it all out to there. We're gonna just highlight it all, press Control B to bring it all out like that. And then Come up here and lock this all to content real quick. Make things a lot faster. And then we're gonna get this 808 here. Alright, 
and then uh, I gotta find some way to change this up a little bit in the second bar of the hook. So I might just take those two things out and um, I'm gonna try. We're gonna cut these right here. Actually, what I can do. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. All right, so I'm gonna bring all these down one. Um, and then we're going to add another pattern just for the clap. Um, and then I'm going to get a separate clap and just do that, you know. That one's punching pretty nice. Put that right there. And then that'll just go like that. Double it over. I like that right there and then we can put that uh, for the second bar of the hook gonna uh, come over here and do half step turn that off and we're gonna uh, put in some hi-hat rolls and we're just gonna grab this bar right here solo that out Quarter step. We're gonna try like uh, that. See, I can't see that well. <laughs> Uh, we're 
we're gonna try this. It's probably kind of too much right there. Yeah, it's way too much. And I'm gonna bring it up a little higher like that. I'm gonna try a half step again right here. We'll go with that. And then I'll go back to quarter step. I'm gonna do another one of these. Yeah, that sounds cool. All right, I'm gonna press control L to stretch that all out. Uh, we're going to delete all of this and then bring that back like that. And uh, press control, uh, shift D, sorry. Yeah, that sounds cool how it just kind of drops off like that. Uh, and then one thing we got to do and what I recommend you do is just start like a couple bars before each transition And just make sure that it drops hard enough. We also got to tag this And uh, do that Of course auto do two bars and then turn it down a little bit Yeah, just start like two bars before each one of your transitions and make sure it hits hard. Like that one, it just doesn't. So we're gonna throw the crash right there. Yeah, that works. Gonna do exactly the same thing right here. And then, you know what we're gonna do here. Uh, I'm gonna chop that and then um, take it, put it right there, shorten it up like that. That sounds so cool. Definitely need the 808 to happen right here. Um, so let's see if we can just bring that back like that. Um, and then it was this bar. Wait, hold up. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, take that. Need this bar right here. And then move it there. Yeah. I'll just try that note right there. can fade this out. Uh, never mind. Uh, hold up. Okay, yeah. 
so we can fade this out. Um, I gotta check the master volume and make sure it's not clipping too bad. Oh yeah, and we can take it out of master, or out of mono, sorry. That's cool, and then we're gonna create an automation clip right there. Bring that down like that. I used to have, I, I like to have it uh, completely muted right a little bit before the end. Um, just helps it fade out a little better, I think. Oh, that sounds good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's going to be the beat. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And I'm going to talk to you all in the next video.